Mom's Kitchen. Today we're going to make a buffalo chicken dip. In front of me I have tortilla chips, two fully cooked chicken breasts, eight ounces of cream cheese, one and a half cups of shredded cheddar cheese, also salt, buffalo sauce, and a ranch dressing. I chose hot buffalo. You can choose any type you want. If you don't like too spicy, you can do regular buffalo. A cake pan. Also, you'll need a large bowl, so you can mix all the ingredients well and incorporate them all together before you bake it. First thing you're going to do is cook your chicken breast and allow them to cool. And once they're completely cooled, use your hands to shred them up. And you're going to have to preheat your oven to 400 degrees, so I'll do that now. Once the chicken is completely cool, discard any fatty pieces that you find in the breast. So I'm just going to look and see because no one wants to buy the two fatty pieces in a dip. So I see a little right here. Out of two chicken breasts, I'm catching a lot of chicken in this bowl, which is going to be a very big dip. Quick tip, when it comes to shredding the chicken with your fingers, if you can feel a tough piece of chicken like I have in my hand, and I just know it's probably not enjoyable, just put it to the side of the bowl. You'd rather not have a dip that you know in there somewhere is a piece of rough chicken that someone's probably going to bite into. Just put it to the side and throw it in the trash. Here you have the shredded chicken breast. The shreds are pretty long, so I'm just going to go in and break them apart a little bit more. Okay, this is very important. As I was shredding the chicken with my hands and all the ingredients were laying out, you have to make sure your cream cheese is also laying out. It is very difficult to mix and incorporate the cream cheese if it's cold from the fridge. So when I tell you to put all your ingredients out in front of you, it really does help when your cream cheese is room temperature. I've done this dip many times where I'm in a rush and I grab it out of my fridge and I'm just putting a lot of arm work into it and I suggest if you just take it out beforehand, it's going to be much easier to blend. So that's what I'm going to do next. Is I'm going to add the cream cheese the whole block right away. This is why you need a big bowl is because I'm going to kind of smush the cream cheese with the chicken all the way. People wonder a whole block of cream cheese? It sounds crazy and I still don't get it but I've tried this dip without it and it just doesn't come out well. It comes out a little too watery. The ingredients aren't sitting together. For some reason, I feel like it's the glue to this recipe. So, if you want to make a fabulous chicken dip for any occasion or just yourself, I suggest you follow this recipe because you will be very happy. I was using the back of the spoon the whole time. I was purposely doing that because I was kind of smearing the ingredients together. Because at this step, it's hard to mix cream cheese with shredded chicken. It just is. So once it's all together, just like so, I'm going to add the buffalo sauce. Once you add it, it's like loosens up the whole entire recipe. Like as if the spice is just telling the cream cheese, just surrender, just mix with me. And you'll find out when you do it. So here I go. I'm going to add one and a half cups of hot buffalo sauce. One cup. Mmm, mmm. Perfect. And then a half a cup. Now I'm going to mix this together. Now, to give it a break and have it a little bit evenly balanced with heat and enjoying, enjoying it, not just sweating and feeling like you're eating more because you're just sweating you're going to add in some ranch dressing. So the next step is adding one cup of ranch dressing. Just going to fill it up. It's all going into the same bowl, so you don't have to rinse out the one cup measurement. It's really OK. Here we go. And mix it up once more. beginning to look a lot like buffalo dip. Okay. <laughs> now, to add the cheese. Usually recipes will call for the full amount of what you need, but if you do this, 
and then separate half a cup to one cup and make sure you see the measurements separated. Then it helps you to know that when a recipe says add in one cup of cheddar cheese, you know to save the half a cup. So here I am adding one cup of shredded, shredded cheddar cheese. Okay, now that we have the dip all blended together, I'm going to add it into the cake pan. Now this cake pan I decided was the best fit because it's small and it's kind of like a dip look. If you have a lot of dip in your bowl, like this whole amount will not fit in this, so I made sure to get two so I could kind of separate them wherever I go. Whatever pan size you need, it doesn't even have to be a cake pan. It can be a bread pan, it can be a pie pan, anything you desire. All you have to do is put it in something oven safe and set it to 400 degrees for 20 minutes. Whatever works for you. So I'm gonna just put the buffalo sauce into the pan. Okay. Mm -hmm. There we go. Now you have your two dips in the pan. Now here comes the half a cup of shredded cheese. Just going to sprinkle lightly on the top of both. Everyone loves cheese. Okay, so now we're gonna put it into the oven. I had it preheated at 400, so I'm gonna throw them in for about 20 minutes. Once you put the buffalo chicken dip into the oven, set a timer. I'm gonna use the microwave today. So I'm gonna click timer, 20 minutes. I'm gonna allow that cheese and those flavors to just marry together. Marry means in the culinary world to blend and become one, I guess, in the human world too. But allow those to marry together and the cheese to melt. 20 minutes. <laughs> that was good. That was... I can't believe I have to wait. One day we're going to both be pressed on time, but people are going to want our videos, and then we have to figure it out. I've had about four people say that they want to be a guest. What? All right, so the time went off, 20 minutes. I'm going to take off the dip. Be very careful. I'm going to let it rest. I'm putting it on top of a kitchen towel so I don't do any harm to the top of the table with the heat. So there you have it. A buffalo chicken dip. And there you have it, a buffalo chicken dip. Nice and golden brown on top. Let's give it a try. Mm -hmm. oh. I will not surrender. Okay, nice piece of chicken on the man. Here I go. Right kind of spice. Cools it down with the ranch. Makes you just keep wanting more. Get your own bowl. <laughs> that must be my motto. Get your own personal bowl. But full chicken dip. Enjoy. If you try to eat buffalo chicken dip cute, just know it's not possible. Enjoy! <laughs> <laughs>